using filters and actions in WP data tables. Uh, filters and actions, also known as hooks, are a native WordPress way of hooking into plugins or themes or different uh, core WordPress actions without changing any code. Basically, it's a sort of callback functions which can be defined by user and which will be applied to certain values uh, before they are returned to the front end uh, to the front end users of the site. WP Data Tables uh, introduces quite a lot of filters and actions and there is no chance for us to cover all of them in video tutorial but they are all described in the text version. I will just show how one of them works and then you can read uh, the documentation and try to apply the same for other uh, for other WP data tables and for other actions and filters. So I will work on this one. It's called WP data tables filter table description. And it has two parameters, object and table ID. Basically a table description is a JSON object uh, or a P it's actually a PHP object which is later converted to a JSON object before it's passed to the front end. Uh, it, is, it contains all of the WP data tables parameters. Uh, it describes all the settings, uh, all the variables, basically everything that WP data table needs on the front end to initialize uh, its front end part. And this description is stored in the object, which is uh, this variable. And also we have the table ID, because if we need to apply the filter only to one specific table, we also need to know the ID. So what do we need to hook on this filter? We need to open our themes uh, function PHP file and do something like this. So we need to add a filter. To this label, basically this one, WP data tables underscore filter underscore table underscore description. Uh, also, next next parameter is the name of the function that we are going to apply. Then is the priority. Basically, when will this function be applied? Uh, sooner or later. Uh, the higher the number is, the later this function is going to be applied. And this is the number of uh, arguments passed to this function and since we have two arguments here we set this equal to two then we need to define this uh, function which is called here wpdt my hook and I applied it here here are the two arguments same as defined here and it should return a modified object in the end and to show you what is the table description I will go to one of the tables, for example, this one, inspect the element, and here it is. So it's rendered in the data attribute, and it has all the data in a JSON format. Maybe it's easier to take this table ID and to access it through the console. So here is the object. It has a number of properties which define the settings for the table. One of them is sub object called data table params. And we can redefine, for example, using this, the, the length menu. Basically this menu uh, stands for, for this dropdown here what will be the options of this menu and let's say we want to add one more value called 75 so we have 10 25 50 and then 100 and we need also a value of 75 then well, what would we need to do we would need to hook into our object what we already did and that something like this object data table params 
a length menu is equal to and this is an array of two values so we need to have an array where first one is going to be also an array and it's going to be values 10, 25, 50, 75 10, 25, 50, 75 and 100 and also let's cut this minus 1 here which stands for all and the second uh, value is also an array but this is an array of uh, labels and it's also so we'll say the same as the previous one 25 50 75 and 100 so let's save it and reload the page now the functions PHP is uploaded so it should hook into this drop-down and uh, add one more one more value to this drop down and also it should remove the all option from here so you see it works we have the 74 uh, 75 here and we don't have the all value so when we can set it also to 75 this one does have 75 uh, values but this one does so we choose 75 And here you go it's rendering 1 to 75 out of 100 entries so this will maybe answer also uh, some of the questions some of your uh, guys were asking how to hook how to remove the all option or how to add to hundreds so you can use this approach and also uh, this is a good demonstration of how to use the hooks so once again you can go to our documentation and open information for developers and there you can see full lists of filters, actions, and also a couple of front-end callbacks that we defined uh, for WP data tables. So, thank you for watching, hope it was useful, and see you next tutorials. WP data tables, the easiest way to render interactive editable tables on your WordPress site. Purchase WP Data Tables exclusively on Code Canyon.